Yeah. Oh my god. Hello lover. Where's it going? Which way is she going? By Pramata now. Anacondas are famous for their remarkable size and semi-aquatic habits. There are four recognized species, the yellow anaconda and the Bolivian anaconda, both usually growing to lengths of 10 to 12 feet, with the Bolivian anaconda showcasing unique coloration. The dark-spotted anaconda, which is less common, features dark spots on a lighter background and is similar in size to the yellow anaconda. However, in this video, I will primarily focus on the green anaconda, the largest snake in the world by weight and girth, often referred to as the giant anaconda, which can exceed 20 feet in length and weigh over 500 pounds. <laughs> the name anaconda comes from the generic name of the snake, which is Unex. It is thought that the term anaconda originated from the Tamil word anacondran, meaning elephant killer. This name highlights the snake's impressive size and hunting skills. The giant anaconda's specific species name is Unex murinus, with murinus indicating its similarity to a rat snake. Over time, the classification and naming of the anaconda have changed, thanks to various researchers and taxonomists who have studied these fascinating snakes in their natural environments. The intrigue surrounding giant anacondas arises from a combination of awe, fear, and cultural influences. Their colossal size, often exceeding 20 feet and weighing over 500 pounds, creates a sense of both wonder and intimidation. Myths and legends frequently depict them as fearsome beasts, which enhances their mystique. Their unique adaptations to semi-aquatic environments, including their powerful constricting abilities, contribute to their fascination. The rarity of encounters with these magnificent reptiles in the wild ignites curiosity about their behavior and ecology. Scientists are also intrigued by these creatures, which adds to the public's fascination. The giant anaconda is surrounded by mystery, with ongoing research uncovering fascinating details about these incredible creatures. The existence of a giant species, first mentioned by Percy H. Fawcett, remains unverified, sparking speculation and curiosity. Percy Fawcett was a British geographer, archaeologist, and artillery officer who claimed to have seen a giant anaconda measuring 62 feet long, a size that many experts debate and consider an exaggeration. His accounts added to the allure of the anaconda, as he portrayed it as a terrifying creature lurking in the depths of the Amazon. He also spoke of other strange beings during his journeys, like the Maracoxi, which he described as dogs with two noses. Fawcett's adventures and the stories he shared have sparked interest in the giant anaconda and other cryptids, making him an important figure in the realms of folklore and cryptozoology. His mysterious disappearance in 1925 during an expedition to locate a lost city in the Amazon only deepened his legend, leaving many questions about his discoveries and experiences in the jungle. The giant anaconda's secretive behavior and preference for thick, swampy areas make it hard to study, leaving many questions about how they hunt and interact socially. Myths often portray them as terrifying beings with supernatural powers, which adds to the mystery of their true nature. Recent research has revealed exciting discoveries, such as the identification of two genetically distinct species of giant anaconda and the finding of a new species, the northern green anaconda, in the Amazon rainforest of Ecuador. Ongoing research continues to explore their size, habitat preferences, and ecological roles, with scientists looking into their effects on prey populations and their relationships with other species. While giant anacondas are indeed large and powerful snakes, there is no solid evidence to suggest that they have killed humans. Most experts agree that these snakes typically avoid human interaction and are not aggressive unless they feel threatened. Many stories about anacondas attacking people originate from myths, folklore, and exaggerated media representations. 
Encounters with anacondas usually happen when humans invade their territory or try to capture them. In those situations, the snakes may act offensively, but fatal incidents are extremely uncommon. The fear surrounding giant anacondas has been heightened by films and documentaries that often portray them as lethal predators, leading to a misunderstanding of their true behavior and ecological significance. Although there are no recent reports of human deaths caused by green anacondas, there have been some significant incidents involving these snakes. In March 2024, a large green anaconda was found dead in the Brazilian Amazon, possibly due to a gunshot wound. A famous 20.7-foot southern green anaconda named Ana Julia was also discovered dead in a river in April 2024. Additionally, a female green anaconda named Dill died at the Tiruvannapuram Zoo in October 2024 after being found in a weakened state. These occurrences only highlight the challenges that anacondas face in their natural environments and in captivity. Giant anacondas are mainly located in the tropical rainforests and wetlands of South America, particularly enjoying the Orinoco Basin in Colombia, the Amazon River Basin in Brazil, and the flooded Llanos grasslands in Venezuela. Their habitat spans several countries, including Peru and parts of Guyana. These snakes prefer shallow, slow-moving waters such as swamps, marshes, and streams, often found in areas rich in dense vegetation. This choice is influenced by the plentiful food sources available, including fish, birds, and mammals, which are crucial for their diet. The thick foliage and murky waters offer both camouflage and protection from predators and prey, while also creating suitable conditions for breeding and raising their young. The warm, humid climate of these regions is perfect for their survival, allowing them to thrive in their chosen habitat. Giant anacondas are apex predators, which means they are at the top of the food chain and have very few natural enemies. While adult anacondas are generally safe from being hunted due to their size and strength, they can occasionally face competition from other powerful predators like jaguars, crocodiles, and black caimans in their aquatic environments. However, the greatest threat to anacondas comes from humans, who contribute to habitat destruction and hunting, often motivated by fear and misunderstanding. Young anacondas are especially vulnerable, frequently falling prey to birds of prey and larger reptiles, resulting in high mortality rates during their first year. The evolutionary history of the green anaconda is a fascinating story of adaptation and diversification. It is thought that they evolved from a group of semi-aquatic boas that originated in South America. Although giant anacondas don't have a complex vocal communication system like some other animals, they depend significantly on chemosensory signals to engage with their environment and communicate with one another. Their forked tongues continuously flick out and in, collecting scent particles from both the air and the ground. These particles are then sent to the Jacobson's organ, a sensory organ located in the roof of their mouth, where they are analyzed. This process allows anacondas to identify the presence of prey, potential mates, and even rivals. They also use their sense of smell to mark their territory, leaving scent trails to inform other snakes of their presence. While hissing is a common defensive behavior, it is not seen as a primary form of communication. Instead, it serves as a warning to potential threats, indicating the snake's readiness to defend itself. The giant anaconda has a distinctive way of reproducing that starts with mating, usually taking place from March to May during the dry season. Male anacondas display an intriguing behavior called a breeding ball, where multiple males may compete to mate with one female. Once mating is successful, female anacondas experience ovoviviparity, a reproductive method in which they keep fertilized eggs inside their bodies until the young are ready to be born. This approach allows the embryos to grow in a safe environment connected to a yolk sac. Giant anacondas are best known for their sexual reproduction, but they can also reproduce asexually through a process called parthenogenesis. This rare event allows females to produce offspring without mating with a male. There have been documented cases where a female anaconda has given birth to as many as 18 snake babies without any male involvement. Parthenogenesis occurs when a female sex cells develop independently, resulting in a new individual without the need for fertilization. Although this capability is recognized in some snake species, it is not the primary way giant anacondas reproduce. 
The offspring produced through parthenogenesis may have less genetic diversity compared to those born through sexual reproduction, which could influence their adaptability and survival. When it's time to give birth, female anacondas typically choose aquatic environments like swamps or slow-moving streams, which offer safety for their newborns. A female can give birth to anywhere from 20 to 40 live young, each around two feet long at birth. These young snakes are born live and are almost immediately able to swim and hunt. Their behavior is mostly instinctual. They tend to be solitary and use their camouflage to evade predators. Despite their small size, they are relatively safe from many dangers because they can quickly escape into the water. In terms of diet, baby anacondas mainly eat small aquatic and terrestrial prey, such as fish, frogs, and small rodents. Once they enter their teenage years, giant anacondas start to show the full spectrum of behaviors typical of adults. These massive snakes are solitary and opportunistic hunters, using their strength and stealth to ambush their prey. As they grow, their diet broadens to include a variety of animals such as fish, birds, mammals, like capybaras, deer, and even jaguars, and reptiles, including caimans. They rely on their powerful muscles to constrict their prey, suffocating it before swallowing it whole. Anacondas are primarily nocturnal, being most active at night, when their prey is also on the move. Their natural camouflage allows them to blend into their environment, enabling them to catch their prey by surprise. As they mature, they gain confidence and become more adept hunters, showcasing the full strength and elegance of these incredible creatures. Giant anacondas grow older. Their behavior still showcases their role as apex predators, but they might become less active and more discerning in their hunting choices. In the wild, green anacondas usually live around 10 years. But in captivity, they can thrive for much longer, often reaching 30 years or more with the right care. The longest recorded lifespan of a giant anaconda in captivity is 37 years, according to the 2023 Guinness Book of World Records. Older anacondas may lead a more sedentary lifestyle, spending more time in the water or resting in their environments, yet they still maintain their hunting instincts and can be quite formidable when chasing prey. Their size and strength enable them to continue hunting larger animals, although they might opt for easier targets as they age. The giant anaconda is currently listed as a species of least concern by the IUCN, meaning it is not in immediate danger of extinction. This status is mainly due to its extensive range across South America, especially in countries like Brazil, Colombia, and Venezuela, where it can be found in swamps, marshes, and slow-moving rivers. Interestingly, Trinidad and Tobago is home to the largest population of anacondas, with estimates around 900,000 individuals. Although their population is stable, giant anacondas do face threats from human activities, such as habitat destruction and hunting, often driven by misunderstandings about their behavior. It is crucial to implement conservation efforts to protect their habitats and to raise awareness about the important ecological role these impressive snakes play, as they have few natural predators due to their size.